Listen carefully. The Holy Prophet has warned us on Laylatul Miraj. I came across such men and women who were hanging by their chests. I asked Jibril, "Who are these people?" He replied, "These are the ones who slander people in their presence and speak ill against them behind their backs." Regarding these people, Allah states in Quran, "Woe to the one who sworn the people openly, bad mouths in their absence." In another narration, the noble prophet has cautioned on Laylatul Miraj, "I came across such a nation that were scratching their faces and chests with the nails made of copper." I asked Jibril, "Who are these people?" He replied, "They used to eat the flesh of humans, backbite, and would tarnish their honor." Allah has stated in the glorious Quran, "And do not backbite on one another." Would any of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You would not tolerate it. The Quran refers to backbiting as devouring the flesh of your dead brother. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam classified it as a sin worse than fornication. On the day of judgment, we have to give accountability of every word. Keep this fact in mind that after spending a few short days in this world, we will be lowered into a dark grave. then who knows how long we will have to stay in that frightening loneliness after this we will come on the day of judgment we will see all our deeds in in our book of deeds then who knows how long we will stay have to stay in that frightening loneliness after this when we will come on the day of judgment we will see all our deeds in the book of deeds as it is stated in the magnificent quran on the day men will return towards their lord in scattered groups in order to be shown their deeds so whoever does a good deed equal to an atom's weight will see it and whoever does an evil deed equal to an atom's weight will see it we are indeed unaware of the hidden divine plan of allah about us will we be given forgiveness or will we be ordered to be thrown in the blazing fire of hell we indeed do not know we seek well being from allah